Hello guys, welcome to Twins Editing and today we are going to show you how you can turn your PSD file into a PDF file through Adobe InDesign. So let's see um, here I have one Photoshop document, uh, three page Photoshop file. So what I have to do is merge, this th merge these three files into a one PDF file and I'm going to use Adobe InDesign for that. So first I have to check the size of the Photoshop document. You can see the image size 8.5 inch by 11 inch. So I have to make the same size document in Adobe InDesign. To make that we have to go to the new document. Mm, make the unit to inch 8.5 inch by 11 inch. I have already set that up. Create. Here comes the first page. To place the Photoshop document onto the InDesign, we have to make one placeholder. So you can click on the rectangle rectangle frame tool or press F to make one placeholder. And just simply drag the first page onto the placeholder. It will fit perfectly as the size is same. And now we are going to make another page and another page and we are going to make the same process of making two more placeholder for two more pages that's it just dragging the second page onto the second page and third page uh oh what am i doing and the third page to the third placeholder that's it now we are going to save it as pdf file <coughs> to save it as pdf file go to file and export and i'm going to rename it test pdf save as adobe pdf interactive or you can save as print epub and many other formats i'm going to use the adobe interactive for web use uh, you, uh, there, there's another tab where you can uh, set your pages, page range, uh, how many pages you want to render, how many pages you want to include in the PDF. And this is another important part. Make sure the resolution is 300 ppi and JPG quality uh, to the maximum for having the best quality. And simply export the file. And that's it it's very easy to just convert the PSD file into PDF most importantly uh, merged PDF through Adobe InDesign thanks for watching the tutorial I hope it helps see you in the next tutorial